In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of momentum. So one way to think about momentum is to think about how hard it is to stop an object. So, so here I have a steel ball. I'm going to roll it. You can see that it pushes the um, this little note card um, quite far. Now I have a, another steel ball, and this one with much less mass. I'm going to push it. And you notice that the uh, note card doesn't move as far. So even though these two might have might start off with the same velocity, because this has a lot more mass, it has more what we call momentum. Momentum, we could think of it also as inertia in motion. It's a tendency of an object to keep on to keep on moving. Right. So the equation for momentum is mass times velocity. And the uh, symbol for momentum is P. For mass, the symbol is M. The symbol for velocity is V. And because momentum and velocity are vectors, they have a direction, uh, we will put an arrow on top of it just to remind us that those are vectors. The units for mass is kilograms. Unit for velocity is meters per second. If we combine these, we get the unit for momentum, which is kilograms meters per second. So now let's take a look at an example. So let's say we have a ball and it's moving to the right at three meters per second and that the ball has a mass of two kilograms. So what is the momentum? So the momentum, which is mass times velocity, in this case would be two kilograms times three meters per second, and we would have a momentum of six kilograms meters per second, and it has a direction, so we're going to say in this case it's going to be to the right. So momentum, uh, like I said earlier, we can think of it as how hard it is to stop an object. So an object that has a higher momentum, it means it'd be harder to stop that object. Now let's take a look at uh, some different objects with momentum, and we're going to compare their momentum. Okay, so this first one has a momentum uh, or mass of three kilograms, five kilograms, and this one has a mass of four kilograms. And what we want to do is we want to compare the momentum of these objects. Now, in order to um, calculate their momentum, we also need to know how fast they're moving. So this one's moving at two meters per second. This one's moving at one meter per second. And this one's moving at two meter per Per second, and the arrows I didn't draw them in scale. I'm just indicating the direction with the arrows. So to calculate their momentum, we're going to take uh, the uh, mass times velocity. So this one will be three times two is six kilograms meters per second. Five times one, five kilograms meters per second. Four times two is eight kilograms meters per second. So if we were to label this A, B, and C we would see that B has the least amount of momentum, and then we have A, and then C has the greatest amount of momentum. Right. Now, sometimes we're given the momentum, and we're asked to calculate the velocity. So here we have a cart, and this cart has a mass of 5 kilograms. And we are looking for its velocity. We know that its momentum is 20 kilograms meters per second to the right. And so now we're trying to figure out what the velocity is. We know P equals mv. M is 5. P is 20 times V. So V, we're going to divide 5 on both sides. We get 4 meters per second and it's going to be towards the right. All right, now let's take a look at two vehicles, a car and a truck, and we're going to compare, um, we're going to find the unknown velocity. So one of them, we will not know the velocity. We're going to try to figure out what that is. So here's the car, and we also have a big truck here. Okay, and... 
this car has a mass of a thousand kilograms that's the mass and the truck has a mass of five thousand kilograms the car is moving at 20 meters per second and we're trying to figure out what the truck's velocity is we'll call that VT but we know that they have the same momentum so can you have uh, can an object have more mass and have the same momentum of an object that has less mass? Um, and the answer is yes. And uh, we're going to figure out what that velocity would be so that they have the same momentum. So the momentum of the car equals the momentum of the truck. So that is given. They have the same momentum. And we know momentum is mass times velocity. And we're calculating for VT. To find VT, I'm going to divide MT on both sides. So VT is going to equal MCVC divided by MT. And if I plug in the numbers, I get 1,000 times 20. So that's the momentum of the car divided by the mass of the truck. And we get 4 meters per second. So even though the truck is much bigger, it can still have the same momentum as the little car as long as the velocity is, is less.